Today's video is entirely subjective in nature. It's a list of my top 10 favorite openings in Checkers, and it was not easy to compile. There are 156 playable 3-move openings in Checkers, and I have a bit of history with each one. Choosing a top 10 was difficult, but I used the following criteria to narrow the scope. First, I looked at creativity and scope. Is there instructive play and winning chances for both sides? I also looked at historical context. This is particular significance in an event that I played in. And finally, personal enjoyment, for better or for worse. To make this list, all of the openings had to fit those parameters. So now you know my criteria, let's go through the list. Number 10, 1216, 2117, and 914. This is a fun creative opening, especially if white decides to play the Minotaur variation with 2419, leading to an epic crossboard battle. If the Minotaur isn't played, and 1713 is played, then after 1619 and the correct 2415 jump is played, it can lead to a lot of brilliant mid game and ending play. Number 9, 1015, 2217, and 913. After the usual 1714, 1116 was really the combat defense played next, and White having a number of attacks at its disposal. However, with the advent of this 6 9 move, possibly by Alex Moiseev, then it cuts down on the White attacks tremendously. After this 6-9, the usual continuation is this 24-19. And then after this radical looking 7-10 exchange, the white attack is cut down tremendously, and it really makes for an easygoing and somewhat intriguing endgame. Number 8, 1014, 2218, and 610. This technical opening requires a ton of knowledge to survive, and its technical aspects are why I actually enjoy playing it so much. This is the usual continuation with this opening. And now, White has two prime attacks. The 2420, which requires Red to go a piece down in order to draw. Or the more straightforward 2318 attack, which requires star move after star move for Red. This opening will prove to any player there is always something new to learn in this great game. Number 7. 914, 2420, 1115. Although limited in scope in the early stages of the game, This sequence I'm showing, by the way, is the usual continuation here. Once we get to this mid-game landing, there are a number of different white options to attack. No matter who I'm playing against, this always turns into an adventure. Number six. 913, 
11-15. After the cover-up with 28-24 next, this 6-9 move is forced. If the natural 8-11 is played, this is a technical loss after 23-18. But after the correct 6-9, white can play either 22-18 or 23-18 can also be played. And after 1-6, there are a lot of fun and fascinating mid-game opportunities, which I've always appreciated. Number 5. 10-14, 22-18, and 11-15. There are so many possibilities for white, and even for red. I like both 26-22 and 24-20, and even the 23-18 double exchange can lead to some cross-board games. I've won a good number of games with this opening, and I've lost my fair share too. And it always seems to come up when the stakes are high. Number 4. 10-15, 23-18, and 7-10. I would be remiss if I didn't include Strickland's Cross in this list. It was the first opening I ever played, albeit from 11-15, 23-18, and 7-11. It all is the same. It's okay from both sides, with White having most of the mid-game edge. Whenever I ballot this opening in events now, all of my early memories of first learning this game come flooding back to me. Number 3, 10-14, 24-20, and 6-10. This opening has been my lucky charm in some major events, helping me win my international debut, a U.S. Junior Championship, and even state events. The main 22-18 attack needs some technical knowledge to navigate, and the 22-17 side attack can lead to the 1955 Tinsley Cook against Hellman. Really, really brilliant play. Number 2, 9-14, 22-17, and 5-9. I've always really liked this opening, whether the 25-22 attack is played or the 24-19. There's some really great play in both mid-games, all of varying degrees of difficulty. Understanding each one has contributed to my greater understanding of checkers. And finally, number one, 9-13, 23-19, and 10-14, or 11-16. I've talked about this opening, and really this opening family, a lot in my previous videos. There are numerous traps within this opening, and there is a good amount of scope within it too. I've always had a fundamental understanding with this opening, and have felt comfortable with playing either side, as there's really good winning opportunities from both red and white. So there you have it, my top 10 favorite openings. Some honorable mentions that didn't quite make the cut would be the Waterloo, and even the Bristol opening. Well, that's my list. What are some of your favorite openings to play and why? Please feel free to share in the comment section below. Thanks, as always, for watching.